I just installed and ran the first uh, try on the Cloud Discovery app for Curator and I tell you I like what I just got. Uh, before I show you the details of, of what I did, let me tell you how I went about configuring it. When you install the app, and you know how easy is the process uh, to just download the zip and, and add it in here in, on extension management in case you've never done this. Uh, but once you do that, you get this icon, and when you go to the icon, there are some things that you need to put. Here is your export credential. These are, you can, if you don't have them already, you, you can register in the X4 uh, exchange site and get your free uh, key and password. Uh, and this is important because this app is going to be tracking what your people do on websites out there and the reputation of those sites and the risk score and all those is captain from the X-Force. I believe the tool has a predefined table uh, but in order for keeping that table up to date you need to put your credentials there. No big deal. You put a, a, a valid token and you see me doing this before you get your token by going here into the authorized token and generating one token and getting it from here, that number. You copy paste it. So once you've done that, uh, the other thing that I did is yesterday, because this tool requires looks back, at, you know, uh, the, the shortest is uh, 24 days, uh, I went out and ran some blue code uh, logs of simulated data. Of course, I'm not going to uh, collect or, or, or show this with real customers' data. So it's going to be a, it's the, the, the websites are real and they are a, there's a good blend of risky and normal sites. But the usernames and the email address and, and what they actually did is actually uh, generated. Uh, not only have to be blue code logs, it can be if you are collecting Palo Alto log, WebSense, uh, Checkpoint, McAfee. Uh, uh, Cisco Iron Port, uh, any one of those uh, will work. Anyway, too much talking, let me show you the good stuff. So you get this cloud application inside and obviously the bubble size tells you the, the uh, on the left you get the, the data, uh, total amount of data uh, that went in or out into those sites. In here you see the number of users that have uh, been uh, risky and here is the magnitude of the, the, the threat score of the actual uh, thing. Uh, so here for example this one has a smaller, bu smaller bubble even though it has more users or even more data but the risk of the site seems to be lower and therefore the smaller size of the circle. But if I go here and click on that bubble, I see, you know, that is for share. That doesn't sound like a good uh, name for, uh, for keeping secrets, right? And here's an overview of it. I can go into the X-Force Exchange and get more data about that uh, particular site. In here I get the violation. So here are all the users that have, you know, done risky things, have gone to this particular site and have exchanged some data. And if you want to see the details of the amount of data exchanged, I see it here on the activity tab. And I can go back last days, seven days, 30 days. I only have data from yesterday, so I'm not going to go back that. Uh, the, norm, the total n times uh, that the guys actually access the site. So this is actually <laughs> a very interesting and it's a free app. So it's actually very, very useful. Here we have the total, uh, the top risky users. And again, we can click on any one of these and see what they did with this. Is. Here we have the top violations. Again, we can click on any one and we get that uh, display in here. But the important thing is that let's say that you detect that, uh, you know, people going into this, uh, let, let's go actually into in the same for share. And let's say that we we don't like the fact that uh, 
Andre Plasencia when when actually there, you know. And we can actually decide to say, well, you know, this site should has has no place in my company business. So you can actually select the site and unapprove that site. And notice how my my because I run it first, all the applications were new, but now I have one of the 186 sites discover as being unapproved, right? And this will, you know, people accessing that will increase the risk score of of those access and that. One thing I forgot to mention is that there's another piece of the configuration. I didn't change it, but I think it is important to highlight. And it's the fact that in the analytic settings, this is the how frequently you want to run the, the actual uh, inspection of all the data and the tabulation of it. And here's the decay, the risk decay factor. I mean, just because you did something stupid once, you're not going to be labeled as risky all the time. So, so this thing, you specify how that risk is going to decay over time should you stop doing risky things. I, I really recommend you to try this uh, free app to the to Curator. And if you are collecting proxy logs, which I'm pretty sure you, you, you have, notice that the application is labeled as early access. So it's not like, a, you know, all grown, but it's growing pretty, pretty, pretty well. And, and it will give you a good insight of what is it that the people are doing out there. There, there, are, there, there, there are all the applications that are paid that will give you this uh, level of detail. But here you have it for free uh, in Curator. Just go download the zip file, run it backward, and you should uh, see what is it that people are doing out there.